What is going on my Guardian Gamers is I, Birdman, back with another Destiny 2 build. And today I'm going to be showing off just a fun little setup I've been using actually pretty recently. I've been um, trying to just essentially do different things just to kind of keep myself occupied before we get the into the light event as well as the final shape and all the different fun things that's going to come along with that so kind of revisiting some old exotics and just kind of making a setup around them trying to make them as viable as humanly possible for solo content as well as for you know whenever you're working with the team and this one kind of falls more in that kind of like hybrid there you can play it on your own or you can play it with other people. But before I get into the setup, you know you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video. Let me know something you're interested in seeing down below, whether it's Hunter, Titan, or Warlock. Subscribe and become a member to help out the channel. All right, let's check this out. Now, as always, we like to talk about the exotic we're gonna be using for this setup first, and that's gonna be the Lorelei Splendor Helm. We got this beautiful exotic back at the beginning of Witch Queen, and it reads, when you critically are wounded with full class ability energy, or when you cast a barricade create a sunspot at the location that has improved restoration effects uh, this is a really good one for anybody that is trying to essentially just live <laughs> more than i mean that's like the best way to really put it you just want to live as long as you humanly can uh, getting that extra restoration constant sunspot usage uh, especially with how uh, solar 3.0 has been set up especially with some great fragments you can constantly just like stay alive as much as you really need uh, you can combo with a healing grenade if you really want but you really don't have to just because that restoration you're getting is pretty freaking juicy talking about solar 3.0 and everything you're going to be wanting to use for this setup first up on your super i've been using hammer of soul i know that burning mall has a shorter cooldown and everyone likes that one a lot more i just really like chucking around a bunch of hammers I think it's got some good uh damage to it and everything like that and i think it's just fun kind of getting the really just like good range with everything but uh, again if you're someone who's just like i need to get my super as fast as humanly possible i would definitely go with burning them all coming to our abilities uh, i've been using rally barricade obviously tower and barricade is a definitely good option if you're just wanting that thicker wall wink wink nudge nudge uh, but for this setup i really think that rally is a solid option because of the fact that it has a shorter cooldown so that means you're going to have that uh activation of that lorelei splendor helm uh, effect way more often for our abilities uh throwing hammer is always a favorite of mine get that easy activation of cure and i've actually been using a third of my grenade with this now in the video i did mention that you can combo this with a healing grenade if you really want uh you're gonna be able to get this back pretty fast because of all the sunspots you're going to be taking advantage of uh but at the same time you know i'm just like i, I really want to take advantage of that really good weakening grenade effect uh and the artifact right now so uh thermite grenade does a lot of good damage and i like to use it aspect wise soul invictus is definitely going to be a, an absolute must solar ability final blows hammer soul impacts and defeating scorched targets create sunspots and your abilities regenerate faster and your super drains more slowly while standing in a sunspot sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside entering sunspot applies restoration so again you're obviously going to get that good activation of restoration there uh, but I really like the fact that you were getting that constant scorching of targets. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second with the fragments and why that is a really good combo with the Lorelei. And then I've also been running Consecration just because dang, it is so freaking fun to just get that huge wave of explosions. Uh, but this is going to kind of feed into the, uh, I would say, end game effect of this build with getting that easy, uh, unstoppable champion stun off. You just need to, you know, really quick activate that, make sure you hit them with it, and the ignition that comes from Consecration is going to do that. Fragment wise, first up, uh, Ember of Singeing. So, again, this is the one that I've been mentioning is really good with the Lorelei. Your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. We are going to be constantly scorching people, not only from uh, just all of our abilities and everything, but also a weapon that we're going to be using for this setup. So, definitely is really beneficial. Ember of Empyrean, solar weapon ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects apply to you really like this this is an absolute must i think everyone pretty much agrees with that uh being able to keep your restoration radiant effects constantly going means you have health while also meaning you have that barrier champion stunning effect with weapon damage for radiant ember of torches powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant i just really like this just for the fact that it gives me that quick effect of activating radiant uh, especially when i'm in like gms and stuff like that i'm really you know trying to make sure that i have barrier effect going um with 
all my weapons so being able to constantly get that is really nice and then finally ember of searing defeating scorch targets grants melee energy and creates a fire sprite uh first off we like fire sprites because they actually just give us grenade energy so uh with this one you're kind of getting a two for one um you're going to be constantly scorching targets as is so that means you're going to be getting that melee energy back um if you really are constantly using consecration like i am uh, and then again getting that fire sprite means we're just getting that grenade energy to constantly weaken uh, champions with our grenade while also just taking out more combatants now i mentioned there's a weapon in this setup that we like to use and that's going to be tommy's matchbook um i kind of pulled this one out from the from the, the vault to play around with this build and see how it goes and it was been doing it really really well i've been getting some solid times on those um lost sectors that are enhanced the legendary master lost sectors uh the intrinsic trait on this one is sustained fire with this weapon overheats it, increasing damage but burning the user and then heat sink overheat damage is reduced while not aiming down sight um so obviously we're not going to be taking as much damage but when you combo that with the catalyst that i definitely recommend snagging um while ignition trigger is active your health recovers more quickly and sustained fire scorches your targets so right there getting that easy scorching effect means we're going to not only get melee energy but also our ability energy so we constantly keep up using those uh consecration uh blasts while also being able to use the lorelei splendor helm more effectively when it comes to the mods and everything you're going to be wanting to put on your armor i recommend for your helmet uh using a hands-on you should be able to run around and use your hammer pretty often so getting that extra super energy is nice a harmonic siphon just so that i'm getting those orbs of power with my solar weapon final blows and then a heavy ammo finder because heavy ammo is just really nice to have to constantly keep up that heavy weapon damage on our gloves i decided to go with a solar loader um, so that I'm able to just have a little bit of a faster reload with the Tommy's matchbook. It's got a pretty huge mag, so you're not having to worry about that as much, but uh, it's really nice whenever you're kind of like bossing with it, just because you're gonna be able to constantly keep up ignitions with your Tommy's matchbook. So being able to uh, get that fast mag off is really nice. And then also two heavy handeds, uh, I believe means I'm getting my uh, orb power every, I think five seconds. Uh, I think if you have three of these, it's every one second. So uh, if you're really worried about getting constant orbs of power, I'd recommend uh, putting on three of these. Uh, but again, if you're like me, you kind of want a little bit faster reload, this is a nice option. On my chest piece, I kind of just went with a variety of different resistance mods, uh, kind of mix and match those as you please. Uh, but I think this is a pretty solid set. When it comes to my legs, I went with a solar scavenger so that my solar weapons are getting bonus reserves when I pick up ammo for them. Um, so obviously that's really solid for my Apex Predator I'm using. And then I put on an absolution so that all my abilities are getting a bit of a cooldown as well as an innervation for my grenade specifically. Now you really can swap out this absolution for something like recuperation if you're really worried about your health. But uh, I would say that's only really viable if you're doing like GM content solo all by yourself with this setup. You don't really need to worry about it because those, sol those sunspots are gonna give you some good health. And then when it comes to our class item, I put on a powerful trap action so that whenever I activate my uh, barricade I'm going to be able to pull in all those orbs of power around me reaper so that I get more power whenever I uh, get a kill after using that and then also a bomber again I think reaper is one that you probably swap out as well uh, if you really want to take advantage of just like another bomber or something like that when it comes to the artifact uh this is kind of a big one i i think you should i recommend with this on that first column you do have the option to do overload auto rifle um if you really feel like it you can do that but if you're like me and been using like an apex predator with this overload mod in the fourth slot um you don't really need to put that on so you really can take advantage of your tommy's matchbook being a uh radiant uh shield piercing weapon instead so just something i would recommend uh personally on that front in the second column i recommend kindling trigger radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch so you're already getting that but just getting a faster effect of it's nice um as well as from whence you came just getting that extra damage taken in scorch combatants the third slot flint striker rapid solar weapon precision hits and rapid solar weapon final blows grant radiant easy activation of that pretty consistently as well as heart of the flame uh, casting a solar super grants nearby allies radiant increases the damage of your super for each nearby ally really solid in those group activities uh, as well as a wish into being now going to the fourth slot i recommend getting that revitalizing blast causing damage your solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration really good for that end game content and then obviously that overload rocket launcher like i just mentioned and in the final slot rays of precision while radiant solar uh, solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite definitely great for again especially like unstoppables and stuff like that and then 
uh, again, a solar operative just for that extra damage when playing solo. Now we like to mention how this is going to be end game viable for champions. Uh, first up for that barrier, obviously Radiant is a really easy one there for unstoppable. Getting those ignitions is definitely a solid one. But again, like we mentioned before, uh, using consecration is a great way to do that. And then finally overload, I just recommend using a rocket launcher uh, if you want to, or just one of the weapons um that is in the artifact thanks so much for watching hope you guys really enjoy it again i'm gonna be kind of going through and just finding different things that i'm just having fun with and making a little setup around it uh seeing how end game viable we can really make it but i'm not really gonna sweat on it uh we're gonna have plenty of things to do once uh the final shape comes around and also this into the light event seems like it's gonna be a whole lot of fun so might even consider doing a little bit of streaming i don't know i've been kind of like toying with the idea in my head but at least for now we're just gonna keep turning out some fun little setups for y'all to try out but again make sure you're following me over on youtube and twitter at birdman 778 Eight, give a thumbs up on the video let me know some of your interest in seeing down below subscribe and become a member guys thank you so much hope you have a great night day whatever it may be